Hello everyone, welcome back to Edible Abundance Homestead. I'm Ginger and today is March 31st. It's Tuesday, so I've come out to plant my radishes because we plant radishes on Tuesday. Um, and while I'm out here, I was gonna show you a couple of small changes and additions that have been made over the past couple weeks of our, we've chosen to self quarantine to try to keep our family healthy. Um, if at all possible. Um, today I actually had my first trip to the grocery store since all of this happened. Um, the corona virus getting into the United States and places starting to shut down. Um, this is Hey Hey, we call her, because if you've seen Moana, she's about as smart as Hey Hey. And um, she's like the only chicken at this point that's decided she's a free range chicken and she's so small and she gets picked on and so I'm kind of happy that she's just out taking care of herself. And she's also our friendliest chicken because when she was really little, she was the only one of her age um, and so she got hand fed a lot. But anyway, so here's my strawberry patch that the chickens dug up and you know, I thought they destroyed it and it's coming back beautiful, better than ever, I would say. I'd been meaning to thin out the strawberries and they did it for me. Um, and so this was part of our original garden before I got the poultry netting that is around the rest of the garden. So it's narrower than the rest of the garden. So on a nice day, um, last week, I tilled along the edges, this side right here and that over there. And I am going to try planting um, seed potatoes and onion sets. And I've planted potatoes before with not much success, and I've never grown onions before. But we're home, and why not at this point? So I have the um, seed potatoes and the onions to put in the ground probably later this week. I need to cut up the potatoes and I want to make sure that there isn't much rain in the forecast because I know that potatoes don't really like to sit where it's wet. I'm debating which side I'm going to do potatoes versus onions. I was going to do onions on this side because I feel like this side's a little smaller, but this side also tends to stay drier and I think that's more important for the potatoes. So I might put the potatoes over here and the onions over there. We'll see how it goes. Like I said, this is my first time growing this big of an area. I mean, when I grew potatoes before, we're talking, I put like four pieces of potato in the ground out of my kitchen. Um, but this time I actually bought a package of seed potatoes. Um, over here, so these are the raspberries. Uh, last fall and earlier this spring, I dug up the raspberry plants that were growing out into the yard here. You can see I did not get all of them because this is in the yard, this is in the yard. They, they spread much more aggressively than I realized. But anyway, so I've dug up a whole bunch of these raspberry plants. And I've created a second raspberry area way out there. So let's go out there. All right, so here we are out on what I call the panhandle of our property which is this little strip of land that we own. We put some fruit trees on it. Here are the raspberries that I planted last fall. And as you can see, I mulched them with straw from the chicken coop for just a little boost in nutrients, I figure. Although, like I said, the raspberries, I'm guessing do fine, no matter the soil type. Um, but anyway, on down here, this kind of, you can kind of see the difference between the older straw and the newer straw that I planted maybe a month ago. And then down here, where they haven't been mulched yet, those I just did like last week. Um, so eventually I think I'll try to plant this entire fence line with raspberries down to, see that puddle down there? I don't think that they will like being in that puddle. It, that's an area of our yard that pretty much floods, you know, makes a puddle like that anytime it rains any decent amount. Um, my kids make it worse by jumping and playing in it. And then my husband goes through and tries to fill it back in with dirt. So 
I don't think they'll like being quite that far, but I'll go as far as I can. And then I do have these, this space over here that I will probably try to fill in uh, as well, just as I get the chance. Um, so last week on a nice day, when I had the tiller out and I was just expanding the garden area, I tilled this line here um, in front of this corner that is, they must have thrown like construction junk over here at some point um, because there's like pieces of concrete and there's like a, a weed barrier fabric in there. A lot of stuff that we just haven't had a chance to put the effort into digging out of there yet. Um, I planted two pumpkin plants and an acorn squash plant back there. It's technically a little early to be doing that, but our forecast looks good and I figure if I lose three seeds, I'll just come out here and plant three more. Um, so I figure those plants, because they tend to take over, they can take over that corner since it's all overgrown anyway. Um, that's about all we've been doing for the past week or so in the garden here. Um, just every chance I get growing a little bit more food here on this property. And that's all I've got. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.